Wait, Sage! Wait! Let's go! Wait! Sorry, please, please just find him. What did the police say? Sit tight. No, come on, get in the car, we're going after him. What about Sammy? He's supposed to wait here. We haven't got time, get in the car, come on. Sid, how do you even know where they're taking him? Well, my dad told me, right, it's where they take the grasses, make it look like an accident. What? Like, it's ten minutes from here, let's go. Let's go. Sammy doesn't need to be here. It's me that you want. Just let him go. People are looking for us. We're never going to get away with this. When we're done here, we grab sick. We're to London. It's easy to get lost in there. Hang on. What about everything we work for? Are you mad? Don't you see? What happens today? We have chance to create history here, Johnny. Trust me. I am sorry for dragging you into this. You did it, OK? May they grab a screw in the clock park. I'm on about your family. Because I made them a target, so this is all my fault. Just don't die yourself, OK? We're not going to let these animals win. You don't want to die, not today, not like this. I can't do it. Come on. Look, Sammy, you just run. Look, I am not leaving you here, OK? Look, I deserve this. Look, you don't love me. got it. I've nearly got it. No, no, no. No, no. 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 Get out. Come on. No. No. What have you done? What now, Stu? What do we do now? Oh, not again. Get after him! I had such high hopes for you, Steve. Yeah. I mean, you, you remember the time at the footy? Yeah, I thought to myself, now this is a man that, that we can do so much with. I mean, it's not hard, right? Your life's in the gut, so the only way is up. And you made me believe that nobody cared about me. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah, you, you keep telling yourself that. And of course they'll miss you when you're gone. Yeah. For a couple of weeks. And then, after a while, they realise, you know, as time flies on, your kids will grow up. Then they'll start to realise, well, maybe I'm better off without him. Hey, Who wants an alcoholic dad? And you also like us to believe that we're in danger from anyone that's different from us. But do you know who we should be scared of? Who? Yous. Because yous don't know what it means to love. So you've got nothing to lose, have you? But do you know what? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> because what is a life without loving it? I'll stay with Sammy. You find Steve. Dad! Sammy! 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 Dad! What are you doing here? Stay away from him. That piece of pizza coming. You are a little traitor. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sue. It's over, me. It's over when I say it's over! Oh, stop! <laughs> Or scoffing. It's making me think that you made a mistake asking that restaurant to do the catering. <laughs> Nothing worse than a soggy samosa. Where's Sammy? My train leaves in five hours. I cannot go back to London until I know he's all right. He's at the police station representing Sid. The kid's been accused of murdering his dad. Can you believe that? Sammy almost died yesterday. And here he is running around after the son of his kidnapper. So selfless. Sometimes I wonder if I was too good a mother. Well, while your brother's being heroic, why don't we hit the high street and punish my platinum? Just like old times. Actually, I'm off to the police station too. I need to make sure Stee's OK. Stee? That Islamophobic thug? He's not like that. Not anymore. Stee is a good guy. Oh, is he? 
don't start. We're just mates. OK, we might have kissed once. You're a good boy. You want to help people. But not everyone can be saved. Mother, escaping radicalisation is a long battle. I just want to support Steve. He is not my boyfriend. I love you, but I've got to go. to London without saying goodbye to you. Why don't you come with me? I think I'll survive, Mum. Plus, someone's got to keep an eye on this one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. I called one of my fellow High Court justices earlier. Her son would be perfect for you. Uh, he's not really my type, Mum. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I approve of your type. <laughs> Just don't come crying to me when that Islamophobic degenerate breaks your heart. Hang on, she's talking about Steve. Something going on between you two. Oh, that's my taxi. Bye. You should be in a drama queen. OK, we kissed once. Uh, but the important thing is we got him away from Stuart. So what, do you still have feelings for him? He's trying to change. Hmm. Yeah, I get that and I wish him all the best. Doesn't mean I want him dating my brother. Hold on. I don't even let Mum tell me who I can and can't see. What makes you think you can? Sana Sid, Leila and Pez are still out searching. I should have never let him run off. Don't beat yourself up, Steve. Sid just wasn't ready to listen to what he had to say. You'll get there. And you, you're brilliant. That's the kind of thing that Stuart used to tell me. It's weird hearing someone say it for real. I guess I feel like I don't deserve it. Well, you're going to have to get used to it. Because I'm going to say it to you every day until you believe it. I thought you were supposed to be a wedding planner, not a life coach. Shut up and take the compliment. Sorry for freaking out over the tattoo. Everything just got a little bit real for a second. Forget about it. Steve, we've all got skeletons. I mean, if you were to rifle through my CD collection, I'm sure you'd make some pretty disturbing discoveries. Like what? Steps, greatest hits. I've got that. Is your album signed by the band? after you waited five hours for them in the pouring rain. OK, that is pretty disturbing. You thought Stuart was evil, wait till I play their comeback album. Now, that is a tragedy. Well, you're obviously not a true fan, then, cos I thought it was banging. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being so nice to me? OK, my sister died, but I just use that as an excuse to hurt people. We're not born racist, Lee. It's something you choose, and something that's brainwashed into you. But before your sister died, did you ever look at a Muslim and feel hate? No. Exactly. Stuart exploited your grief when you're at your most vulnerable. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy route back, Steve. You're a victim in all of this, too. 
You're not the first person today that said it's going to be a long way back. Well, maybe you can take your first step back with me. Azim, I really do like you, okay? But you were doing the right thing walking away. Well, don't I get a say? It's not as easy as that. I can't stop thinking, what if I would have died yesterday? I would have never have saw my kids again. And they would have grew up thinking that their dad was a racist. I could have really messed my kids up. Just like Stuart's messed up Sid. But you didn't die. And you've got a chance to put things right. Yeah, and maybe one day I'll be ready to take that step with you. Just not today. Oh, you haven't seen Stay on your travels, have you? Well, actually, I have. He said he was on his way here to have lunch with you. Then why hasn't he shown up? Are you supposed to meet me and Pez outside? Mum, so he's text me. Yeah, he's text me too. Hey, sorry for the group text. I just thought it was easier to do this all at once because I was never very good at saying goodbye. Hey, is everything OK? <laughs> I know. I'm going to stay with a friend in Newcastle to try and get my head together. And I've spoken to someone in Prevent up there, so I'll still be getting support. It's just I'm so ashamed for thinking and saying the things that I did. Maybe in time people will forget. But I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive myself. So until then, you look after each other, OK? Leela, keep an eye on Leo and Lucas for me. Because they're going to need you more than ever now. Train station, please. And thank you for never losing sight of me even when I did. You are the reason that I'm still here, and I'm so sorry for letting you down. I will always be proud to be your big brother. I love you. Steve.